This is the seventh Sultan of the Ottomans, second Mehmet Han, rose to the position of Welat after the death of his elder brother, Crown Prince Aladdin. His father, Sultan Murat, was deeply saddened by the death of his son Aladdin and was tired of the wars in the East and West. He declared that he would abdicate the throne. He was meticulous because he wanted to prevent Prince Orhan, who was in Istanbul, and Mehmet II from developing into a war for the throne. Murat II made a love agreement with the Hungarians and the Karamanahulara of Edirne Sigeden, thus creating an atmosphere of peace in the East and West. In 2444, Mehmet II sat on the throne after his father abdicated. He was 12 years old. The Pope, who took advantage of the accession of a 12-year-old prince to the throne, convinced the Hungarians for a new crusade. This second Murat defeated the Crusaders in the Battle of Varna in 1444 and retreated to Manisa. Prince Mehmet, who remained on the throne for two years, died in 1446 after the Janissary Rebellion in Edirne. He was dethroned in 1960 and Murat II had to take power again. This second Murat did not take his son, the second Mehmet, to the Peloponnese campaign. He did not take his son, the second Mehmet, to the Outlook campaign and the Second Battle of Kosovo. He also invited himself with the Sanjak soldiers, especially in the Second Battle of Kosovo. He also proved his father. Prince Mehmet II, who returned to the Saruhan flag after the Second Kosovo Battle, received the news of the death of his father Murat Khan in 1451 and immediately had him transferred to Edirne. On February 18, 1451, he sat on the throne for the second time as the seventh ruler of the Ottomans. It was the first time that Sultan Mehmed was dethroned. At that time, there were many people who thought that he would not be able to replace his father, Mura II. As soon as he came to the throne, he left Shandarlu Halil Pasha, who did not fully support him in his first reign, to the position of vizier again, and his call for peace to the Hungarians, Serbs, Venice, Rhodes, Eastern Rome, and Karamanoulara was described as incompetence. This is something that no one knows. There was one thing. Second Mehmet was now definitely making all his preparations for the Constantinople expedition. Karamanoulu Ibrahim Bey signed an agreement with Second Murat and took Sadiq until the death of the Sultan. However, when he took the opportunity of Sultan Murat's death and attacked the Ottoman lands, the first thing Mehmet II did was to go to Anatolia for the Karaman expedition. This came out when Karamanolu Ibrahim Bey saw an Ottoman army of Asais he did not expect. He asked it for peace. He gave up the war. After Sultan Mehmet Khan added the Patron Languegas to the Ottoman lands again, he forgave Karamanolu Ibrahim and returned victorious from his first campaign. Subscribe. And when the Janissaries returned from Edirne, although they did not fight, they started a tip rebellion against the Janissaries. Even though Sultan Mehmet suppressed the rebellion by distributing some money, he intimidated all the Janissaries, especially Sandar Lahalil Pasha, by putting the Janissari Agha Kurchu Dohan, or their heads, to the Bastignado. And this action eliminated the possibility of Cherry rebelling throughout his reign. He returned victorious from his first campaign and Mehmet second, who managed to take control of the army, started preparations for the siege of Constantinople when he returned to Edirne. As the first serious indication of the siege, he built the Rumeli fortress opposite the Anatolian fortress on the Anatolian side of the Bosphorus. The construction of the fortress, which started in April 2452, was completed in August. Two fortresses built opposite each other in the narrowest part of the Bosphorus took the Bosphorus traffic under control. When Emperor Constantine sent ambassadors to Mehmed II to stop the construction of this fortress, the Sultan warned these ambassadors in a harsh language and said, if I want to build a fortress on the lands that belong to me, I will do it. No one can prevent this. This young Sultan Istanbul, he knew that the walls could not be opened by any ruler in history. That's why Constantine had to conquer the city in a short time without getting help from Europe by pouring more destructive cannons. The engineering marvel cannons he drew with his own hand were cast in Edirne. The largest Ottoman cannons the Khan had ever seen were built. These magnificent cannons were used to destroy Constantine's walls. It has the capacity to destroy the ground. When the cannons were test-fired in Edirne, 
It reached the largest sound and range made by a human structure, resembling thunder. It, along with the other cannons, were brought in front of the walls of Istanbul by being pulled with oxen in February 1453, and these cannons arrived in front of Istanbul. It took two months. Oh, Emperor Constantine had a big chain drawn to prevent the Ottoman navy from entering the state because Mehmet II built the largest navy in the Ottoman history, and this navy surrounded the city from the sea. O Greek hand, Baylor Bay, Karakapasha, captured all the land up to the walls of Istanbul and Constantine now. There were only these torments from Anatolia behind their questions. Tamarli Sipahis crossed the Bosphorus to Sultan Mehmet. They arrived in front of the city with Kapakulu soldiers and Janissaries. An Ottoman army of 80 to 100,000 people is now in front of Constantinople. The Ottoman navy of 73 100 pieces surrounded the city from the sea. Meanwhile, Constantine was at war. The Catholic Pope wanted the Orthodox to be subject to the Pope in order to help the Orthodox people of Istanbul, and he wanted the same arrangement in Hagia Sophia. Because this is an unacceptable situation for the Orthodox, the Catholics, and the Orthodox have been enemies to each other for centuries. During the Crusade in 1204, the Catholics went to Constantinople. The people of Constantinople knew all this, and there were a significant number of Turkish supporters in the city because the people and some of the Orthodox owners trusted the Ottomans. The Ottomans did not interfere with the religious life of anyone in the Orthodox cities they had ruled for years, and they did not interfere with the religious life of anyone in the Orthodox cities they had ruled for years. Grand Nautis, the second man of the city who knew these very well and was the Prime Minister, said these words that went down in history. I would rather see a Turkish turban than a Latin hat in this city. The people who were Catholic Christians hated this work. On the other hand, Sultan Mehmet promised the people freedom of religion and trade and asked for the surrender of the city without a war. But Constantine rejected this. On April 11, 1453, the seven rulers of the Ottomans stood in front of Constantinople for the seventh time, despite all the mutual conversations. The decision for war was taken. 35,000 soldiers were defending the city of Constantinople. They were relying on the Grage Fire and the most protected waters in history lined up in rows to open the chain in the Golden Horn. Also, Giovanni Giustiniani, one of the best commanders of the period, commanded the Roman army. The Ottoman army, which performed the morning prayer on April 16th, was the recipient of the prayers. Then he started firing cannons, and these cannons were causing serious damage to the ships because the cannons of a size never seen in history were almost new. I was saddened by the destruction of the tours. It has been repaired for now. On the 9th of April, Baltaolu Suleiman Bey made a serious attack with the Navy, but he was not successful. This is a great question for what was asked on the 11th of April. The Ottoman attack took place. This attack was inconclusive. On April 18th, the cannons opened a breach in the walls. The Ottoman army launched a major attack again. The Ottomans suffered serious losses on both sides. They also retreated from this attack. On April 20th, third large Genoese ships managed to pass through the 300-piece Ottoman fleet and reach the city. Sultan Mehmet plunged into the sea with his horse out of anger. The Pashas calmed him down with difficulty. Sultan Mehmet dismissed the captain, Admiral Baltaolu, whom he saw as responsible for this defeat. Hamza Bey was appointed in his place. Sultan Mehmet, who wanted to improve the morale of this army, put into action the plan he had previously designed. And on the night of April 21st, 22, he marched about 70 ships from land and launched them into the sea. Subscribe. But while the morale of the Eastern Roman Empire was destroyed by this incident, the Ottoman army experienced great joy because the weakest point of the walls is in the Golden Horn. Subscribe. This is April 28th in the Golden Horn. A naval battle took place while the Roman Navy attacked the Ottoman ships. They retreated without getting results, suffering losses. Until May 5th, the cannons beat the questions. Non. Stop. Subscribe. On May 15th, Zanus Pasha from Galata Ridges made cannon fire on the walls of the city and the enemy forces, and we managed to sink some enemy ships. Music 16.
On May, the Ottoman attack intensified. On May 19th, the Ottomans could attack from the Golden Horn. The artillery fire intensified until May 16th. Mortars were used effectively for the first time in history. On May 18th, a major Ottoman attack took place on the marching towers, but no results were achieved. Subscribe and on 19th May. The attack was made from the wooden bridge built over the Golden Horn. The defenders of Constantinople started to ask for repairs. Ottoman cannons achieved great success. Also, the sewers were useful in the siege. On May 26, when it was understood that the Venetian navy was in the Aegean, morale was low. On the other hand, news was heard that the Hungarians would form an army and enter the Ottoman lands. Soldier Spirituality the chair he lost, Halil Pasha, advised Sultan Mehmed to lift the siege and attack Edirne. Sultan Mehmed strongly opposed and ordered the army to prepare for a major attack. Subscribe. These cannons continued to beat the walls. On the night of May 28th, a lantern regiment was held and the city was intimidated. On the morning of May, Sultan Mehmed went to the front of his army and after performing the morning prayer together, a great attack was launched. Sultan Mehmet also attacked at the front of the army to boost the morale of the soldiers. This time, the Ottoman soldiers attacked with great love. Some Ottoman soldiers managed to answer the questions. This was a tremendous event. The Ottoman soldier continued to attack with a force that had never existed since the beginning of the war. Meanwhile, Giovanni Giustiniani was injured and the Chrome army, which he was out of the war, was destroyed. Sultan Mehmet, who was in the middle of this war, saw an Ottoman flag waving on the walls, got off his horse, and started to cry and give thanks. The Ottoman soldier opened the questions and managed to enter the city. The soldiers started shouting that the city had fallen. The soldier and commander heralded by our prophet has now conquered the city of Constantinople, and Emperor Constantine, who defended the city until the end, even though he had the opportunity to escape many times that day also died. In Turkish history, he has always been respected and remembered as a valuable emperor. This is Sultan Mehmet the Conqueror. When the Orthodox withdrew, he asked for burial. On this 29 May 1453, Fatih Sultan Mehmet entered the city with Duran as the heralded commander and came to Hagia Sophia. He calmed the people who took refuge here and called for unity. The people of Istanbul, who trusted the Turks, adopted him that day. In Hagia Sophia and in Istanbul, the call to prayer of Muhammad was recited. The people of Istanbul, who trusted the Turks, adopted him that day. In Hagia Sophia and in Istanbul, the call to prayer of Muhammad was recited.